What's up everybody, it's a Prism down here and welcome back to another video slash live stream and I forgot to re-edit my I e outline this one. Alright. Why did I say live stream? It's not a live stream. Welcome back to another video where today we are back with playing in Phoenix Wright Asia Today. Now last time Mia died. So yeah, I'm very sad, and Ma Aya, her uh, sister, is accused of murder, so I have to uh, protect Ect Maya from this murderer who is a pink, pink-suited, purple-haired, square face, like Grandpa Max. Oh god, oh god. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Faye. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edward. I better not show any signs of weaknesses today, eh? Or he'll, he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edward, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Faye was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no, no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edward. Let's begin, then. You may call your first witness. The prosecution calls a chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. I lost Gumshoe's voice. One sec. It's the cops! There we go. I, that's how I remember Gumshoe's his, his voice, because I watched the a previous episode. It's the cops! All right. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by the window, this window here, sir, and the car and the cause of death. Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hands, sir. The, the court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. Floor plans added to the court. Yay. Now, detective. Y yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was at who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm, Detective Gumshoe. Please check to that find the report about this hard evidence. All right, witness testimony in Maya Faye's arrest. All right, guys, so everyone, I want everyone to focus and lock your eyes on the text, all right? As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Ms. Maya and the lawyer, Fe Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Ms. Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Ms. Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm, the very moment, you say. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. I literally had to make a smack sound. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. What's this? When my sister can find any contradictions in a, a witness's testimony, 
She would bluff it and press the, the witness on every detail. The witness always slipped up and said something wrong. It worked lots of times. <laughs> I should have expected. Ed Meyer would know some of, of her sister's tricks. All right, let's give it this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like Ike to begin my cross-examination. Cross-examination, my hate arrest. And I have to switch on the fan. Boom. All right. What are these exclamation marks above my head? What are you doing up there? <laughs> All right. As soon as I, the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Hold it. Who did you say you got a call from? Hey, pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from a customer at the Great Water Hotel, uh, right across from the crime scene. Hmm. Okay, I pressed. Not sure it did much, though. R right, please continue. Yeah, there were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Meyer Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrest. All right, press. Why is that? What's your reason? Why? He had a witness account describing her. Hold on just one second. Oh! I hold it on the right thing. Y yeah. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she, she did it. Correct? Oh! Oh! Uh, huh? D did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about the suspicion woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? Wh what? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't Pink, pal. What? Well, I guess she is Pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than now claim, Detective? Um, hmm, I guess this, this thing can have its advantages. Yes! Yeah. Sorry, I got the order of things messed up in my testimony, Your Honor. So, there was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. I gave the judge the wrong voice. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Hard evidence. I, I, I lock onto the text. After, sec after securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on, on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. The lab test results showed that at the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found under the victim's finger. Before she, he died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Um, how you like that? That's my hard evidence. All right, let me check the autopsy report. Single blunt force trauma that was in. I got. It. Hmm. Before we begin cross examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Y Your Honor, why didn't you testify about this uh, vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, uh I know. I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. It's? I'm not an it. I'm a he, okay? Alright, let's go over to... Over to the, the thing. And, uh... And present the autopsy. Objection! Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want you to clarify, clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Faye, wrote this note. 
that she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fay. That's really what you're saying? What? what? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? You have it backwards, detective. B backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But no butting out of your way out of this one, detective. Yay. Order. Order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have the time to write anything down. Mr. Fight, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? When? The day after the murder. The morning after the murder. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being... That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. What? What? what A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. That was almost immediate due to a blunt oh from a blunt object, but there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. <laughs> no way Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edward. I should have known you'd have some, something up your sleeve. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? You're a sham, Edward. The detective's a sham. I'm a sham. Um, uh, the detective's a sham because he didn't give me the second autopsy. Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham! How could you give me a faulty report? Huh? I, I thought... Detective Gumshoe... Oh. I'm disappointed in, in you handing him the wrong report like that. Huh? I, I'm sorry, sir. You are at fault, Detective. This isn't going to look uh, good on your evaluation next month. What? what? But... but <sighs> Alright, Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. court. Uh, understood. The court, court accepts the uh, evidence. Autopsy report updated. Let me let me check it out. Well, Your Honor, let me check it out. Died from a blow, but a uh, blunt object. God dang it! It deleted the date. It deleted the date. No. The evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Hold on. John, this isn't good. Hold on. It's... Alright, which... Which date is it? September 5. September 5. There we go. John, this isn't any good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Alright, wait, 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 wait. This, also, this receipt was dated yesterday, right? Or the day before the murder. I, guys, I read it, I read it, okay? I read it when I got it, okay? A department store receipt with letters written in blood on the back. I read it, it's... It's dated, yes, the day before the murder, and I suspect that that will be important. So, yeah. Which is why I'm trying to memorize it. Alright. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Exactly what part of it is innocent? Witness, your name, please. The music is happy. 
April May at your service. Stop winking. Please. Don't wink. Or else I'll punch you in the face. Order. An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Ah, yes, Your Honor. It's not good. She's already captured in the heart of every man in this court. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5 when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like in my hotel room. <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the fan cola offices. Mm, that's right, big boy. Oh no. Oh no. I would have to skip through a lot of the uh, dialogue because I just I just can't say it, okay? I'm twelve. I'm twelve. I can't I I'm innocent. Please testify to the court about what you saw. With this testimony, witnesses account. All right, right eye, left eye, lock into the text. It was like nine o'clock at night. I looked at out the window, you know. All right, what was the time? Oh man, I can't see the. Seriously, I can't. S no. What was the date of the murder? Is it available on... No, it's not. The date is not available on... Anywhere. No, the... Where is the time of the murder? And then... Oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. Wait a second. I came in on 8.57, right? That means Mia was dead. Okay. The one attacking her was a mousy girl was sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dashed to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. In the end, that's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. Stop winking and I'll also punch you. Last warning, okay? I will punch you. Seriously, I will. Objection. Obj all right, all right. You know what? You know what? I'm going to object to April May's winking. Objection! The, the witness is winking too much. Hmm. Well, Your Honor, I see. It was a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Well, wait, Your Honor. Y yes, Mr. White. What about my cross examination? I thought the witness's testimony it was just now was quite firm, didn't you? Mr. White, I understand you were Miss Me as a phase understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques as well. A cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. <laughs> hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Of course I will. My phone just fell. I... Okay. Yes, I'm doing it. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. Of all... Only because I... <coughs> If only because I have a feeling Edward doesn't want me to. She has to have some kind of weakness. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. Uh, cross-examination witnesses again. It's like nine in the morning. I press, press that. Why did you do that? Huh? Why? Like, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee. What, that's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. I thought of, you know. Uh, stop winking at me! Stop! I had a feeling. 
Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press harder. Go for it! Let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have, have had a reason to look out of your window at that time of night. I, oh. God dang it, Edward. Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. But badgering? You insist on needling her uh, the, with the trivial questions. I really don't think it, it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, stop it. The poor girl, stop. Hold her. Mr. White, you have been warned. Poor girl, what about poor me? You looked out the window. What did you see next? We already saw. Also, seriously, what is are these qu exclamation marks above my head? What are you doing up there? What's your problem, okay? Oh, wait. Is that the amount of wrong objections that I get? Is that the limited amount of wrong objections? Is it? Tell me what you do! Alright. And, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking over oh, the mouth all right, hold it. How do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the, the crime with a short, girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. She's right. I question the testimony. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. What? Miss Ray, I'm going to bet that you're lying. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? Her, oh, her eyes widen. Her eyes widen. Mr. White, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client Maya Fay, you wouldn't have noticed her clothes before Nordy is seeing her physique! Yeah! <sighs> no one wears clothes like this on a, a daily basis, except her. Now, I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony mentions either of those these things. The testimony is bogus! So, we don't know if she was dressed that way in the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? <laughs> what are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to... Please omit nothing to your in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I just punched the webcam. Because of you. Because of you. Because of you, Miss May. Because of you. How dare you? I punched the webcam because of you. Alright? I hate you. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. Alright, left, right eye, left eye. Lock into the text. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the, the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That, that clock. Um, th that kind of statuey clock, I think. I think the thinker. No one even mentioned it was a clock. 
how do you know? Oh, does the accuracy of my report not stall you? Alright, I'm gonna go over to that. I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. Alright. Alright. Let me go over to that. That. Alright. Present. Let's take the clock. AKA a, a weapon. AKA the statue. And I'm gonna. No. I'll roll it up. And. Objection! Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you like that? Well, okay. I'm gonna skip that. You just said that the statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of, of knowing that just by looking at it. Uh, another person in much the same position as you called this a clock too. And he was found guilty of murder, a murder, of a horrible bad thing. Order, order. Miss May, can you explain uh, and how you know this was a clock? Uh, uh. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense has tried to uh, confuse the issue with a trivial concern. Yes, yes, of course. You, you will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Objection! But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with my questions before. Well, only once. Objections are saved. You may continue to question the witness. Phew, that was close. If he stopped me there, the trial would be over. Huh, what the, what happened now? What happened now is you answered my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? That's... Because I heard it? Yes, I heard it say the time. So, you've been to the law offices of Fay and Co. No, no, no! Hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard from my hotel room. <laughs> that is impossible because uh, they removed the clockwork. The law offices of Fay and Co. where the murder took place are very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the clock. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because she couldn't have heard it. You were at the hotel. There's no way you could have heard... Uh, oh, I chose the wrong one. I chose the wrong one. It couldn't have wrong. I should have chosen it couldn't have wrong. You have proof that she could not? Uh, amateurs, amateurs. Listen to me, Mr. Wright. In the courtroom, proof is everything. Without it, you have nothing. You are nothing. Now, I would like to propose a test to see if she really could have heard. The prosecution denied your request. Wh what? On what grounds? There's a trivial matter, but no direct bearing on the case at hand. Indeed, objections are saved. Damn, time to switch directions. Quit. Ready to proceed, Mr. Wright? No, Your Honor. Can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because it couldn't have wrong, Your Honor. The members of the court. It is inconceivable that the court are it's empty, it's broken, the batteries are dead. It's empty. That clock is missing its clockwork. How could you possibly? Just have a look as soon as you can. Oh, see anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court what the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. 
it couldn't have wrong. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. F fat? Well, Miss May. <laughs> Where'd the show you put on for us, Mr. Wright? He knew the clock was empty. Somehow. He knew! I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. It can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? It was after the witness heard the clock. Then there is no contradiction. No. No. I have proof. Hmm, that is true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clock was removed? I can. I can. Ho ho, impossible, of course. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof, if you like so much. The evidence that proves that when the cockroach was removed is my cell phone. To get! Take a look at this. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Uh-huh, you have a girly phone. Wait, wait, this isn't my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's phone and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order, the defendant's cell phone. This, this wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Uh, but a detective better remember he's up for evaluation too. My heart goes out to you, Edward, not. Let's hear the conversation. Beep. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you, if you could. Ah, uh, I should I'd probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork. Sorry. September 5, 927 AM. Beep. You're on I think this recording makes it clear that the clockwork was already gone. And this was recording in, in the morning before the witness even arrived at her, her hotel. Huh? Huh? Well, Miss May, would you care to explain in this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? Well, well, is it, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I got so many. Oops, I forgot. I'll let it slide. I'm just gonna let all the wings slide from now on. Larry made it. How could you have seen it in the mall? So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes, I do. The witness claimed she had seen it before. But this is that directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence and that will prove the witness as had not seen the clock before. Present. Take that. It's simple. This clock was never in any store, ever. What? what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world, and the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible! Everything is sold in stores. M Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Hmm. Oh, excuse is not on sale today? Uh, 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 um. ah! Oh, the heart went upside down below her chest. What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! Calm down, Miss May. W whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This, this is a court of law, and the witnesses will uh, remain calm. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 silly me. Did I, um, like, lose it? I guess 
like that. <laughs> Scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Hmm, oh dear. Did the defense have an, an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. The wiretap. Allow me to explain and how I see the truth of the matter. Let's say for May, you knew the weapon that you had heard about it. The witness had never held a clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had her. This. This. Take that! Have a look at this. Huh? Oh? Th that? <laughs> I, I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what that is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss Maya, Mia Faye's cell phone, were you not? Uh, uh, God dang it, Edward. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. The troubles be that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous that the defense truly claimed that and the witness was tapping a phone. Absol absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... My affair cell phone. Present. I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Beep. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. What? Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Beep. Miss April May. You used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I, I. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? Why is there a question mark after face? The defense demands an answer. <laughs> Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May, shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, no. It's no fair. All of you are ganging up on me like that. I'm so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> yeah, cry like the criminal you are. That did it. The court seen the real April, Miss April May now. Now to deal the a f final blow. Why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't Tippity tapping uh, uh, irrelevant? Yeah, she's saying exactly what Edward wants to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Get him, Phoenix! While this court does not condone the defense's tone of speech, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped the phone? Ha! I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking, I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who's thought of that, and of course, I can and will. You can't be serious. No way! 
Wait, I say, wait. Oh, and I show I'm. Oh, you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay, so the killing happened at around nine. At nine? Why, that's just when I was getting in room service from the, that sweet bellboy. Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee? You know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Iced coffee? Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. A uh, ghost. The witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. So where does that leave us? It was my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to uh, have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Over which testimony stands, she saw the, a defendant, Maya Fay, commit murder. No, they're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I ta I miss major murder somehow. Wait. Wait. The two people. The second person living at Miss May's apartment. Also, Miss May wears pink, and so does the murderer, so yeah. So yeah. It's the second person. It's the second person. It's the murderer. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. Call the bellboy as a witness. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious there, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunk in quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. But why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? The best April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, and you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer until she is innocent. Therefore, you must accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. That is my condition. What? I better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Accept the condition. All right, I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Of course. Understood. I accept your condition. <laughs> fell right into my trap. Uh oh. Uh, um, wait. Very well. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be in of service. That t-shirt looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. W very good, sir. Witness testimony! I'm the head ball boy at, at the fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the uh, evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought uh, to her uh, at nine on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at preci uh, precisely the requested time, of course. That smile. That smile. Bellboy, that smile, and I deliver uh, the uh, iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see. The defense may begin its cross examination. But right, I'm ready. I'm hope. This is it. If I can't prove who Miss May was involved in the murder now, Maya will be finished. The head bellboy, but I've nothing wrong with that. Uh, 
yeah, to be brought, press, press that. I know clock on the dot, say. Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Uh, nine o'clock. The time of the murder. Okay, now I know the time of the murder. Hold on. I'm going to press that. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May Ian personally, sir. Not only did I see her and all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them, and I... Um, uh... Ahem. Ahem. It's the second person. The point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? Alright, precisely nine. Then, precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, nine o'clock p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent, insistent that I did be brought then. Oh, Bell, oh, Bell boy, tee hee, I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly nine. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on the door at the crack of nine, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? And I, I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. We're sure it was Miss, like at April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I bought the room service, sir, she, she the guest, sir, favored me with the, uh, um, an embrasser, sir. Embrasser? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. God damn it. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my frimsy meaning. You know, yes, sir. It was a merry moment I shall never ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think I miss me. It was up to something and wanted the belt boy to remember her. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is, is that it? <laughs> Finally, you understand. This bell boy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will... I'll end this read rather tedious cross examination here. Hmm. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. No, I can't let this happen, can I? Protest! Protest! Wait, please wait! Je yes, does the defense have, have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edward. All right, Mr. Edward. I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. This is where we're at now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Check-in. Tell me about the check-in. Tell me about when you checked in, Miss May. Oh, all right. Very well, sir. My first thought was she was as a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, and so it was a disappointment, really. Oh, the other person's a guy. Now we know. I see. Excuse me. What exactly was a d disappointment? Well, I'm not without charm, but even I it have little chance with her lover here. There. What did he say? What did you say? Uh, oh, uh, rather quite. Bellboy, tell her the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? I object. That was objectionable. Mm. Objection number one! The witness will, will answer the question. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? 
Uh, well, sir, you uh, you didn't ask. N nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, uh, yes, quite indeed. It was a uh, uh, good barista there, Mr. Edgeworth, who uh, he asked me not to mention it if I was wasn't specifically asked. Sir. Oof! Oof! Y you fool! That's what I did on the spot. I'm telling it. I won! Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. <laughs> Correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. Then, when you brought at them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor. We have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In this new light, I hold it that it's impossible to judge the defendant. You agree, Mr. Edward? Who, who is this other person? Simple, it was as the man with Miss May. The man who checked in with Miss May. Oof! Stop doing the robot that sound, man. Stop. Stop memeing. Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone, yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that I was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room of, at the time of the murder. My, what a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of, of the other man from this court. Seriously, stop. Stop. Stop doing Roblox death sounds. Edward, stop dying. Stop dying. Edward, stop dying on Roblox. Stop dying. Oof. Upstart. Amateur. The, these accusations are ludicrous. Enough. The court acknowledges a, a, a defense's argument. I expect the a prosecution to def and defense to look into this matter at a full eight. Am I understood? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. Yes! We won another day. September 7, 2024, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Mr. Wright, you were amazing in there. But really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. Huh? That face of his with his, his eyes wide and trembling lips. It just shivers up my spine. If you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Well, no. I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I, but I got a great lead in today's trial. A uh, lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she was learning her charms won't work everywhere. She probably had the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Yes. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come ha in handy during the trial tomorrow, but now I have, now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony were all lies. In fact, there's only one part that got left on the record. May testimony added to the record. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Yay, we got the second page of the court record now. May testimony, the victim dodged an attack and ran to the right, but and she was caught and struck. Let me... Four points, check. 
Alright. Ran to the right. There's the right. Here's the right. And then... Wait, she was struck over here, right? Ran to the right. I don't know how good this will do with me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigation. I doesn't belong in the detention center and it's up to me to get her free. To be continued. Yes. Also, safe state. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. As I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then why not leave a like down below and subscribe, turn on notifications, and be and become an imprisonment. And also, oh, comment down below. Oh, what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see next. Also, tell me about uh, Ben 10, guys. I'm wait. I'm still waiting for you guys to tell me if you want me to do more Ben 10. So yeah. If you guys do, then uh, comment down below, please. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh. Next video will probably be Finance at Freddy's. So yeah. So, and I'll see you guys in the next video.